What will the new year bring? This is a question we ask ourselves pretty much every year come the end of one and the beginning of another. Are there resolutions to be made? Are we glad to see things in the rearview mirror? Are we satisfied with our accomplishments and hope to have many more of the same? In all honesty, New Year's just happens to be a convenient point in time in which we can say, hmm, let's try something new. Bonnie and I have become fortunate enough over the past few years to have been accepted into a group of great people. All this being possible by our interest in kayaking. Now, despite the community being smaller when you compare it with other sports, the heart and soul of this group is something special. This New Year's Day, we've gathered with about 20 other like-minded individuals to paddle down the French Broad River. No resolutions, no commitments, well, maybe one. Let's get out and kayak even more. Everyone is loosened up, having fun, and just enjoying the day. The French Broad is not a hard river by any means. Above Stackhouse, it's mainly class 2-3 rapids and boogie water. But it makes for the perfect river for a bunch of kayakers with varied skills. There's plenty of play spots and non-consequential holes for those wanting to get in there and play a little bit. And plenty of slack water eddies for the rest to just observe and enjoy the day.
that's a nice little you're gonna have a shiner there buddy yes yeah, it's, it's bleeding a little bit right right, right there got a little bit of a cut i mean it's a pretty good cut yeah, <laughs> did you roll under did you flip yeah. i never did you roll up yeah. nice you'll be fine just a battle scar Despite Kevin taking a hard knock, he was still having fun just like the rest of us. As a whitewater kayaker, encounters with rocks are just inevitable. If you're upside down, those encounters can be, well, a little bit more painful. Which is why an investment in a good helmet, that's always a solid choice. There were a few kayakers that decided to stop and play for a little while. In the meantime, we're going to pull up in Stackhouse and take a short break before we head on out on the back side of FB9, which includes Windy Flats and the two Class 4 rapids back there known as Kayakers Ledge and Frank Bells. Windy Flats seems to be the reason that a lot of kayakers do not pursue Kayakers Ledge and Frank Bells. It's essentially a two-mile stretch of flat water that sometimes has a headwind, and you just have to stick with it to get through it. It is one of the most beautiful stretches of river that you ever see. And given the opportunity, I will paddle this stretch every single time. forward. You got it, Shane? Yeah. You good? I'm good. I did it a couple months ago.
Good job. Woo! Yay. At the top of Kayaker's Ledge, my GoPro decided to have issues. I ended up with a dead battery, so I didn't get myself going over the ledge. And I didn't get a lot of footage thereafter, all the way up to Frank Bell's. So, we're just going to fast forward right up to that time. gonna have to get herself out. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's in the hole too. No. So, uh, I missed it. Like, I, I missed the eddy. And then, like, come through and I hit the edge of the slingshot hole. Uh -huh. But I did, didn't. My angle wasn't right. So I ended up in that typewriter line. Oh, man. And, but, no, like, I don't know how I did it. Dude, this boat was my feet were way up here. <laughs> I was just digging. Because I was, you know, I was uh -huh. And it got out the other side, I was like, now how did that happen? I thought we were both gone over if I grabbed it. Uh, it's been 50-50, you just knew I that. knew I was over and I was like, okay, ride it well, out. I also thought you were sliding, that's why I was telling you paddle backwards. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to go to the After an adventurous Frank Bells, including three or four swims, and Bonnie getting broached at the top, we all get back in the boats and start making our way down towards Hot Springs. Only one more rapid sits between us and the takeout. A three foot drop known as Surprise Ledge. All this paddling sure has made me hungry, so I sure am looking forward to that burger after we get the boats out of the water.
We're putting our boat in the truck anyway. Can you help? Support the B&A Adventures YouTube channel and never miss a video drop by hitting that subscribe button.